for this challenge, we're supposed to create an exercise routine. So we just had enough days over the length of this challenge to like actually create a routine. Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday, or three times a week, I'm doing rollerblading and weightlifting. Two things I've never done before. I own rollerblades, but I bought them at a used store for $5 and have not used them since I bought them. I also have never learned how to do free weights properly, and Sean is really into weightlifting, so he's going to teach me how to do that stuff. This is an improvement upon my regular exercise routine because basically for the last couple of months I haven't had an exercise routine. I've been kind of going to the gym, kind of running, kind of bike riding, but I've never done anything regularly. So this is really getting me into the habit of exercising regularly. So today I went rollerblading for 43 minutes and I also lifted free weights for 40 minutes. down really pumping at skating but I really can't do that with the camera in my hands because you have to swing your arms I got really tired around the 30 minute mark and so I'm just glad I finished and I'm not dying I will do a map my run of this entire course so you can see the distance that I went and the elevation that I did so oh my gosh and also if you think that inline skating is just for your legs you are sorely mistaken <laughs> Rollerblading at my weight for an hour is 588 calories. I went for 43 minutes, which means I burned 420 calories in those 40 minutes, which is seriously a lot of bang for your time. That's a lot of calories for only 40 minutes of exercise. Okay. One more. Push it out. Push, push, push. Good job. <laughs> Don't fall on your face. Focus. This is the essential Shaolin workout right here. <laughs> oh, I thought I was going to come up on that one. <laughs> I'm really trying. I can't go down very far. <laughs> I can't do it. Ready? Oh. <laughs> Ready? This is what they did to me in Kung Fu class. Okay. Go ahead. And up. Oh, push, 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 push. There you go. That's it. That's all you got in you. <laughs> One more. Don't arch your back. Arch backs are for camels. All right. Okay, down. That'll make it easier. No. Up, up, up. Oh! See? There you go. Hand placement. <laughs> you just went down and you just fell every time. Then they had to hold it here. <laughs> that one inch. And then they'd say half. Three quarter. Quarter. Half. All the way down to one inch. <laughs> and then up. And then that would be one. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, is that everything or is there more? What? You want to get done already? No. Stick it to a slam jam. <laughs> I'm sorry, am I, am I affecting your workout? The weightlifting shocked me. I didn't know weightlifting was so many calories per hour, but it's 450 to 600 calories an hour, depending on your weight and the intensity at which you lift the weights. For my intensity, I estimated 450 calories an hour, which means that in the 40 minutes of weightlifting I did, I burnt 300 calories. Altogether, today, I burnt 720 calories, and I only worked out for like an hour and a half. And I had a blast. Who knew? 
I had so much fun today going rollerblading. It was an intense workout of not only the legs, but of the butt, the back, and the abs. And man, lifting free weights properly, doing the bench press and whatever else he taught me, it is a workout for not just the arms, but the shoulders, the back, and the abs as well. So I'm really getting a full body workout every day this week. <laughs> you judges are crazy. As if my before reactions weren't enough in the videotapes I took yesterday, it is Monday morning and I am here to tell you that I am fucking sore. And I even had like heaps of muscle milk last night after my workout because I knew that I had worked so hard. Um, but like from my ankles to my neck, every piece of me is sore right now and I just took a long hot shower to hopefully remedy some of that. But Oh, I don't want to do this all week. <laughs> I did the rollerblading and weightlifting again today, and I beat my best lap time rollerblading by two minutes today. My fastest lap was 18 minutes, which was really awesome. I was watching the super pro rollerbladers that were out there that were, you know, head to foot lycra <laughs> spandex people and they threw their arms back differently and when I started copying that I started going a lot faster although I was working harder I was also going faster for the harder work so that was awesome let me tell you I don't know how any of you guys are doing this without muscle milk I, I honestly have no idea how that would even be possible the reason this is a great exercise routine although it is sort of killing me is that there are off days built in if the challenge had ended on a Friday or Saturday I would have done this on more regular days as a routine every other day I would have done Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and then had the weekend off to do whatever I wanted, go bike riding or do something else active that takes longer. So today I did rollerblading and weightlifting once more, the last day Thursday, and it was really good. Um, I'm so glad I had the day off yesterday, uh, Wednesday because I needed that break. I was able to do my weights way easier and I also really killed it on the rollerblading. So I'm very excited that I did it all <laughs> this whole week and I'm gonna definitely keep up both because I feel changes in my body. I feel stronger, more confident. I definitely feel more athletic and more capable so I'm really excited about that. The sport I chose to improve upon was cycling and I have two recommendations to improve that exercise. The first would be to take it outdoors instead of using the stationary bike, and I'll explain more of that later. I've already done that, so in order to push myself further to take that exercise to the next level, I decided to go faster. I tried to do the same distance that I've been doing lately, the same route, but in shorter time, which would equal a faster speed overall. Today, I went out and did my best to go as fast as possible, hoping to get a better time than 10 miles an hour. Thus far, I've been cycling at 10 miles an hour, and today, I went an average of 13 miles per hour. Woohoo! It's a personal best for me. I am exhausted and my muscles are killing me everywhere. Oh well, I did really, really well today. I went 10.85 miles in 50 minutes, which is 13 miles per hour. I would also add that bicycling outdoors totally trumps bicycling indoors because it really beats boredom. And that is essential in working out. It's not just about what can burn the most calories and work the most muscles and get you the most toned out of all the exercises. That's not the only game we're playing here. It's also incredibly important to find something that you enjoy and that's fun. Point is, bicycling outdoors and giving it your all, you'll burn way more calories, go further, and you'll have a lot of fun, which is what it's all about in the end. This week, eating went really, really well. Um, you can see it all at auntieshay.wordpress.com, but it's it went really, really well. And honestly, I'm really excited by how well I did this week. And of course, exercise, you know, went extremely well. Um, I also lost 2.8 pounds this week. Thanks for watching.